Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray here, that Logic Pro guy. Let's go ahead and use ChatGPT inside of Logic Pro. In order to access it, you will have to utilize a silicon chip M1 or later, and you will have to upgrade to Sequoia 15.4 or later. That being the case, you can find this new function inside of the notepad. And if I open that using the key command control shift P, you can see it's right here. So I'm going to click on it and it has a very similar style to what you're used to on the web browser. I'll go ahead and insert a prompt. You can rewrite it. You can have this thing do all the usual um, functions that you would do inside the browser. But here I'm going to use it as a compositional tool. You can see that it breaks down all the triads, which is really nice. And uh, I'll take this information and I'll just paste it right here. And then the trick is to then go into the chord track, new to Logic 11, and then to insert these chords. So let me go ahead, insert them here, C minor, A flat is the next, we have E flat, and finally G. Not everybody knows music theory. It's nice to have all this information here at the ready. Let's go ahead and pull this down onto the software instrument track and let's take a quick listen. Okay, I can kind of see how that's starting to sound like music. Let's go ahead, reduce the tempo. Maybe I'll include a pad. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, I like that a lot. Maybe I'll do the same. This time we'll get an arpeggiated style. Of course, I don't want to add another piano. So let's go over to Retro Synth. Could also use Alchemy or something. See if we can come up with something clever here. I do want something subtle. Let's see if we could find something. Here we go. Okay, that sounds actually pretty darn good. I'm going to convert this to MIDI. And uh, let's see if I could drag this down to its own track. So we'll drag it here. Uh, let's see, we'll grab the scissor tool. And let me see, I want to cut this up like that. And then I'm going to basically compress this information so that it's twice as fast. I'll hold option here. Nice little trick. All right. And then, of course, I'm just going to loop that. And uh, let's raise it up an octave. And maybe change the sound. Let's go into the library. Let's go into synthesizers, plucked. Let's see if we can get something clever here. For more content on Logic Pro, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to have an incredible summer. I'm going to make so much video for Logic Pro and beyond. So if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and sign up. See you guys later. God bless.